Hello everyone, welcome you all in this video. Today we will discuss about which type of journal you should select for your publication so that your profile will sound. Whether you will go for the Scopus Index Journals or you will go for the Web of Science Index Journal. Which one is the best? So I will give you a complete detail about the Scopus and Web of Science Index databases and at the last of the video I will give the comparative chart of both the databases. So watch this video till the end. So let us start the video. So what is the indexing? Every author search for indexed journals to publish his articles and try to select a journal that is covered by a number of abstracting and indexing services. So indexing of a journal is considered a reflection of its quality. Index journals are considered to be of higher scientific quality as compared to non-index journals. So citation index or indexing is an ordered list of cited articles, each accompanied by a list of citing articles. The index journals have expanded online presence and reputable for high quality publication in their own field. Now, why we need the indexing? So, there are certain benefits for the indexing out of which first one is the accessibility. Since the main purpose of a journal is to be accessible to a wide audience once it is indexed by a database. So, it is immediately made available for all users of a database that has indexed that journal. And the second one is the reputation. So being accessible has a direct impact on a journal's reputation. So if a journal is available for a large number of academic population, it will be considered a reliable source of high quality information in a certain field. And the last one is the readership. So every researcher will look to establish well-known databases as the first activity in his studies, if a journal is indexed in a known database in that researcher field, he or she will find that easily and read it. This increases that general's readership. So we have seen that what is the indexing, why you need the indexing. Now I am going to show you the top list of academic research databases. Number one is the Scopus, number two is the Web of Science, then PubMed, then third one is the ERIC Education Resource Information Center, IEEE Explore, Science Direct, then DOAJ, Directory of Open Access Journals, and the last one is the JSTOR. So these are basically the top list of the academic research databases. So, in this video tutorial, we will discuss about the Scopus and Web of Science. So, what is the Scopus? Scopus is one of the two big commercial bibliographic databases that cover scholarly literature from almost any discipline. Besides searching for research articles, Scopus also provides academic journal rankings, author profiles, and an H index calculator. Now it covers around 81 million items and you can find around 1.4 billion references in Scopus database. It obviously it is a multidisciplinary. You can uh, view its full access by institutional subscription only or limited free previews available. It was developed by the elsewhere. This is the window screen of the Scopus. You can go there by the website scopus.com. Now the web of science. So web of science also known as web of knowledge is the second big bibliographic database Usually, academic institutions provide either access to Web of Science 
और स्कोपस ऑन देयर कैंपस नेटवर्क फॉर फ्री इट कवर्स अराउंड हंड्रेड मिलियन आइटम्स वन पॉइंट फोर बिलियन रेफरेंसेज अगेन इट इज ऑल्सो ए मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी एंड बट एक्सेस ऑप्शन इज ओनली इंस्टीट्यूशनल सब्सक्रिप्शन इट वॉज डेवलप्ड बाई थॉम्स एंड जूटर अर्लियर नाउ इट इज मेंटेन बाय क्लेरवेट सो वी हैव सीन द टू टाइप ऑफ डेटा बेसिस एंड देर कवरेज एंड रेफरेंसेज नाउ दिस इज द विंडो स्क्रीन ऑफ द वेब ऑफ साइंस यू कैन एक्सेस दिस वेबसाइट बाय द फॉलोइंग वेब एड्रेस so there are different types of web of science collections criterias then you can have this one first that is the science citation index expanded it is started from 1986 to present it is also running then social sciences citation index arts and humanities citation index conference proceeding citation index conference proceeding citation index social science and humanities and the emerging sources citation index so these are different types of index available with the web of science now let us compare these two type of databases so scopus versus web of science so what are the difference what are the common points so w w o s or scopus share a lot of common features still these databases have a couple of significant differences so let us discuss these types uh, types of differences in between scopus and web of science the web of science database allows deeper search of published papers dating back to 1900 whereas scopus covers more modern matters scopus started in year 2004 only WS journals are more strict in the peer to peer review process because they seek to publish high standard research paper so it is difficult to get published paper in WS journals rather than scopus index journals many WS journals in my research field are indexed by scopus you can note down this point many WS journals are indexed by Scopus, but it is not necessary. All Scopus are indexed by WS, depending on your research fields. Now, the point number two: Clairvoyant Analytics is more selective and more demanding from the material it indexes. So, for indexing in a WS, you need more material. so they are very very selective in this way while the scopus is more inclusive and contain more types of materials and therefore it is less selective so this is the big difference between these two types of databases wos is more selective and the scopus is less selective so there are features offered by scopus but not by clairvoyant like such as keywords so this option is not available with ws and features that offered by clairvoyant but not by scopus such as funding bodies for the purpose of promotion in the academia the clairvoyant is generally used mostly promotion in your uh, job so government agencies generally demanded the wsi ws indexed papers now the scopus index journals are classified to four levels as i think q1 q2 q3 and q4 so there are always many of them are excluded especially from q3 and q4 from being indexed in scopus because they don't follow the rules of publishing that have been made by scopus so or all you can say that scopus index journals papers are distributed in four categories so if the paper is classified into q3 and q4 categories so it may be possible your paper is not indexed 
maybe some papers are indexed but maybe your paper is excluded from the indexing so in this way we can say that scopus is uh, less reliable compared to the web of science when uh, you can see that the scopus uh, updating frequency is basically a uh, daily rather web of science updating frequency is weekly or monthly so it is possible that your journal selected journal may be indexed right now it may be excluded in the next couple of month so when it comes to web of science there is nothing to worry about it it is completely fine and trusted so the indexing of the web of science is hard and review process is very rigorous so once it is published or indexed in web of science then it will be there so it is more trusty compared to the scopus so my conclusion is that both platforms are equally efficient they offer the functionality that allows the user to achieve the assigned task without difficulties so we can't put them in a order which one is the first one which one is the second one one is good for set of things and other one is better in other context so you need to make your own decision based on your own experiences and focus of your research work so these these are basically the my point which i have discussed with you if you have another point regarding the scopus and web of science you can write your comments in the box i i will welcome your comments about this video it will uh, in increase my knowledge as well as the viewers knowledge thank you for watching this video